Yep. All right, man, so I, like, I'm just like you, man. I, I'm searching on YouTube for some duck hunting tips and some duck calling tips. Um, and what I'm here to say is duck calling is 10% of what duck hunting actually is, maybe even less. Um, your success is not gonna depend on how well you blow one of these. Um, I would say it's, it's a good tool um, to kind of turn ducks or get ducks in a little bit closer. Man, I, you know, wear duck calls and put them on your neck, but if you were to give me $100, I wouldn't spend it on a duck call. I rely heavily upon where I hunt and my gear, as in decoys and sleds, guns, mojos, uh, to get me where I want to be. And the ultimate goal for any duck hunter is to shoot a limit. You hear a lot of guys talk about the X, and that's just where ducks want to be naturally. And so if you buy a $100 call or a $150 call or even more, and you're 50 yards off the X, man, you're not going to you know, shoot all the ducks that you want to shoot. So what I would say is move 50 yards and get on top of those ducks. And man, I've been out there, and you'll, you'll hear guys say that, on public land, this is what you need to do, is you need to just wail on your calls. And I've found that there could be a guy literally 300 yards away, and he sounds terrible. But for whatever reason, the ducks want to keep going over there and don't want to come to me, and I'll see ducks just falling into his decoys. And he may be completely quiet, but the thing is, is he's hunting where the ducks want to be. Man, that's why we get up early. At the public land that I hunt, it's kind of first come, first serve, so guys will show up the day before. Um, they're not doing that because they're great duck callers. If they were great duck callers, then they could be the last guy in line, right, if it worked like that. They're doing that so that they can hunt the eggs. You pick those up. So the last one that you need to learn is a hail call. And honestly, it's probably the most overused call I feel like in the field. I feel like guys jump in the blind and they immediately want to show off. And so what they do on the first group of ducks that flies 30 yards away is they're throwing hail calls at them. Um, this is a good call to kind of get the duck's attention. But honestly, all you're trying to do is get their attention and get them to look at the decoys. Um, it's, it's a rarity that I see ducks cut all the way on a hail call. Uh, it's mostly just to get them to turn, and a lot of times when I'm throwing this call out, it's when ducks are kind of already interested in, in the decoys. And so a hail call is five to six notes simultaneously, still saying tin or hut or vocalizing into the call. So here's kind of how it sounds. So maybe there's ducks coming in right now. I, I don't know, but we don't have guns, so we can't shoot them. Um, so that's like kind of your three basic calls. So now the other thing that you really need to practice, and I haven't seen a whole lot of guys talking about this on YouTube, um, is you just need to practice calling at ducks. I, I know a lot of guys will go in their garage or be calling in the truck and have other cars looking at them. But I feel like the best practice is field practice. Get out there when ducks are flying, chatter two ducks and see what they do. So that's the main thing. The main thing that we're trying to do is shoot ducks. And we use this last 10% to get them as close as we can. Okay, the other thing that you need to do is you need to call to duck-specific ducks. Um, a lot of guys will just pick up a mallard call and that's kind of all that they're calling the whole time. Um, if you can identify the duck, better. Um, I have a short clip of where we, I, I heard the widgeons kind of whistle at us and I was like, man, that was a group of widgeons. And we actually turned them and, and dropped them. There's a widgeon in there. Oh, he's a widgeon. Widgeons. 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 Boys. Dude, that's a pretty duck, man. Call two duck specific ducks. 
And one of my favorite ducks to shoot is, is a blue wing teal, and they make two different sounds. The hens are kind of squawky and make all different noise, but it, it kind of sounds something like this. And you'll hear them in the water doing this kind of early in the morning before shooting time. And it's usually, man, just when they're landing um, or, or just when they're, they're on the water already, but it sounds something like this. And you can actually turn teal, and, and teal fly really low and really fast. Um, and you can turn groups like that. They're not going to kind of circle real up high and, and, and be committed like that. They fly really low and really fast. And then immediately after you shoot, kind of in the back of your mind, be prepared for those ducks to, to turn straight up. Um, they'll flare a little bit right and left, but man, right after you shoot, they get altitude. Um, and they, when they come by, they kind of sound exactly like jets. And then the males will make a, a short kind of sound like this. They're, they're real quiet, to be honest, but if you got a guy in your blind and he, he doesn't know what he's doing and kind of wants to participate, and, and that's what I would encourage is that the guy that doesn't know how to call, he needs to pick up calls uh, because he's not going to become a better duck hunter. But what I would encourage anybody to do, especially if you're teal hunting, but just give a guy a whistle, man. Um, anybody can blow a whistle, and uh, you, you know these things can make all sorts of different sounds. But you just want to put your finger inside the hole, and then blow just a little bit of air. Super easy to do. But the teal hit males will sound something like this. And that's kind of all the noise that they make.